Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mehul and in this video I want to discuss 5 reasons why becoming a software developer today is one of the best decisions you can make for your careers. Reason number 1. Coding is permissionless leverage. That means once you learn to code, you can create a lot of leverage for yourself in the real world. What do I mean by that? That means let's say you are a great coder who learned from internet and who's not so much, does not have a lot of networks or you know not involved with a lot of communities. All you need to do in order to get leverage is you can build a great product or you can start applying for companies and you already have a lot of leverage compared to people who are incapable. Right? And the best part about coding is that you don't need somebody's permission to get that leverage. If you can do something and you approach the right people, if you approach the right companies, you will be respected and you will be rewarded a lot. Which brings me to my second point that is coding is highly paid at the moment. And this might not be true for some people. Some of you might be developers and still feel like you're underpaid. But for the most part, you would see at this point in time, coding, programming is one of the highest paid jobs in the world. If you take up any survey from Stack Overflow or any other website like this, you will see the salaries of even um, junior level coders can be through the roof if you just hit the right company, right? And even in countries like India, funding system and the ecosystem for companies to raise capital has affected the amount of payments which developers receive. The coding right now is something you can consider if you are behind money, which I probably would not recommend as one of the primary reasons. But yeah, this is one of the jobs which is highly paid, which can be highly paid at the moment. If you're on a low paying job, upgrade your skills, upgrade yourself and get a better job. You might say the job does not exist in your area, which brings me to the third point of why you should become a software developer today. And that is that programming can be done remotely, which is like a huge advantage. If you are a software developer, you can be sitting in India and could be working in a startup in US or vice versa. I mean, I mean, these days, like Indian startups are also raising funding in millions and tens of millions, right? So it wouldn't surprise me for somebody from US getting a better package in India. But anyway, the point is that you can work remotely from your place to someplace else. This could be a remote job, which is a professional job, or this could very well be a freelance gig or any sort of mentorship or anything like that. So programming has enabled that, internet has enabled that, that coders are not required now to relocate to the place where the actual company is. You can work remotely and that means you can earn higher in according to that country and, and spend lower according to your country. So that's pretty cool. Which brings me to point number four and that is you can become a coder for free. I mean, I did it. I learned to code for free from all these places. The part where it took me eight years, that's a different thing, but this can be done. If you want to do it for free, you can do it. Internet has enabled that. So if you are from a place where you would rather want to trade your time with your money and you can afford that, then that is possible through the use of internet. And my fifth and final tip for people to just, you know, who are stuck on the fence, whether they should code or not, and helping them cross that fence is that you can be entrepreneurial. You can start companies, you can start products if you know how to code. That is kind of close to what we discussed in point one, which is permissionless leverage. But this point is super important where you can even take example of me, right? I only knew how to code. I built CodeDam. I built a small company, which is running still at the moment. But yeah, I was only able to do this because I was able to show some proof of work by building a product through code. That's that's what I did. So you might very well be creating a SaaS product. You might create an application for mobile. You might create something which you're passionate about some problem. So if you know how to code, if you're a software engineer, you can create that MVP. You can create that minimal product and help a couple of people see their responses, see what they have to say, iterate on that and even get other people excited. Because if you have something which you're building and that is growing, then other people would want to join you. So this is super important. Coding gives you a lot of freedom in this world. At this point, it literally gives you a lot of freedom because you are free to choose between a lot of carriers. You are free independent uh, of you know finances you don't have to worry about uh, finances a lot if you know how to code and have a job and in fact if you're entrepreneurial i think like a lot of great people have also said in our time that is like code is the ultimate leverage try to learn to code software engineering is not going away at least 
not in the next five to 10 years until and unless GitHub Copilot takes over. But yeah, I mean, this is a great time to be a software engineer. So if you're trying out a bunch of carriers right now, just tasting everything, I think trying out something like web development, mobile application development, or data science or anything like this is also a great option just go ahead and try that oh and by the way did i mention web development you should check out the full stack learning path full stack web developer learning path on codebam which will take you from zero to 100 in full stack web developer enabling you to get a job get that internship start freelancing or even just fill holes in your knowledge that is super interesting because this full stack learning path is not a video course it's not a playlist on YouTube or any other website. It is an interactive course. That means you will be building projects. You will be completing labs. You will be completing tasks when you're completing the course. That means you're never stuck in tutorial hell. You're always building and you have a lot of community on your side to support you as you're completing this in a very structured order. You can find all the links on how you can start this full stack web developer learning path in the description. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like and comment on what you think, why it is important to be a software developer in today's time. Would love to hear your thoughts as well, but that is all for this one from me. And I'm gonna see you in the next one really soon.